if another man touches you, I'll deliver his freaking... <clears throat> Next time, pianist and more. Oh god, your name! Please keep talking! We most likely are dealing with not only a large age gap, but an illegal one. Lock him up! Did I just bite my lips in front of my mom? I can't, I can't, I can't. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel! I'm just a Kalayla. So today we're gonna be riding the hater train, and I say that jokingly. So this is an extremely obscure series on my channel. I get a lot of weird recommendations on my Instagram account of weird Instagram accounts. The ones I detest the most are the POV slash imagine ones. Imagine, you're visiting your boyfriend who's in- <laughs> Why is he in prison? And the reason I hate this is because it kind of promotes things I find personally weird, such as stalking, assault, murder, cheating, the list goes on. A lot of people are into this, and I feel like a lot of teenagers are into this because of stuff like character AI and Wattpad and AO3 and like all these things. And if you're into that, you do you. But I'm not. To not make it seem like I am trying to harass or cyberbully anyone for the things that they are just posting on the internet, everybody has a right to, and I don't give out the account name. So let me give you an example post in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. Imagine, I find myself in the most excruciatingly dull class, where the professor's voice fades into the background. My attention drifts to a dark-haired guy a few rows ahead, his tussled brown hair and piercing blue eyes making him stand out. He's undeniably stunning, but it's clear. I'm just a passing thought to him. One night at a party, the energy buzzes around us as... I can hardly believe it, but before I know it, a popular guy starts to flirt with me. He comes closer to me with a big smirk, before the brown-haired guy steps in and kisses me, shocking everyone in the room. The atmosphere freezes and confusion washes over me. Why would he do that? Did I mention that we're enemies? Why are people always having enemies in these? Who in real life just casually has an enemy? Imagine his point of view. Your name is currently locked in my bedroom. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but she wasn't calming down. She doesn't listen to me. Why would she? I'm just a stranger to her. She doesn't even know me. Other than our marriage, we have nothing common. How am I supposed to tell my wife that I stalked her for years before even introducing myself to her? She won't understand my obsession. That's why I won't tell her. It will remain a secret. So I go into my office, searching my security cameras, and I have one hidden in my room. Your name is sitting on the floor. She has a book in her hand. A familiar book. My journal. Same journal I confessed my love to her. The journal where I wrote everything I wanted to tell her. Frick. Why would I want to imagine this? I'm married to someone who married me because they stalked me? This sounds like the ballerina farm girl. And if this actually happened to you in real life... Also, what? wait, hold on. Why would he have a journal that he confessed his love to her? I have so many questions. So he has a journal that he confessed his love to her in, but also... So she's locked in his bedroom. He's obsessed with her. They're married. He stalked her. He has cameras everywhere. That's just... That's not it, Chief. It's not it. Imagine, I was a teacher and your name was my student. From the day that I saw her, I decided that she would be my little toy. Ew! Mine to play with, to toy with, and push every button of hers. I was keeping her late after school for not returning an assignment on time. Her leg bounced under the table as she waited impatiently for me to speak. I always expect my students to come to class with all their assignments completed, I tell her. She nods slowly and I tip my chin up. If they don't, I make my way up to her desk. They are to be punished. So let's, um, let's, let's examine the situation here. It says teacher, not professor. So we most likely are dealing with not only a large age gap, but an illegal one. Lock him up! And people are even disagreeing with this post. Thank god it's not just me. <gasps> you had recently been kidnapped. <laughs> While you were kidnapped, you assumed you'd be held in a basement, tied up, and tortured. But you were mistaken. Your kidnapper gave you your own room, plenty of food, and allowed you to roam around the house. He gave you freedom, and even though he did kidnap you, it wasn't so bad. The only thing he didn't let you do would see his face. He'd always wear a mask, only his dark eyes peeking through. One day, as you were sleeping, he walked into your room. He didn't have his face mask on as he admired your features. Hey, sweetheart. 
he whispered, tucking your hair behind your ear. He put a hot plate of food next to you, softly kissing your cheek before walking out. What he didn't know was that you weren't really asleep. You saw his face. His beautiful face. You guys gotta stop with the character AI stuff. Imagine. I see your heartbeat is quite fast. Your doctor smiles, making you blush automatically. He's just so fine, and he's aware of it. Your doctor leans a little further. So, why here today, miss? My throat is sore, you reply, looking away. You notice him trying to hold his laughter, which just adds to your frustration. And why is that, miss? He teases you. Whoa! That's not funny, his name. You cross your arms. He laughs, pretty amused by the situation. <laughs> Fine. Sorry. The doctor wraps his arms around your waist. But that just proves I did you right last night, princess. Wait, did he shoved his into your throat? Girl, what the hell? Did I just bite my lips in front of my mom? I can't, I can't, I can't. It got freaky, it didn't got freaky fast. Freaky fast delivery, Jimmy John. Imagine your name. You were married off by a man a year ago that happens to be a mafia leader. As is very common, it happens to me every week. <laughs> you didn't know what he does for a living and you didn't want to ask. You both went from strangers to lovers. You both fell in love with each other that you were inseparable. You both love spending time by cooking, watching movies, playing charades together. You finally made love three weeks ago and you were late. You were now waiting for the test results to come and it's positive. The feeling you felt was incredibly happy. You were so excited to tell him, so you went to where his tracker was at. You were carrying the test with you when you ended up at a rundown facility. You were all confused why he was here, but you were feeling more excited of how you were gonna tell him. Why is she casually tracking this man? You noticed three parked cars, and one of the cars was familiarly his. You shaked the feeling that something was wrong and went inside to hear arguments. You peeked inside cautiously and saw five men holding guns while cornering a man that was kneeling on the ground. Your heart stopped slowly. <laughs> your heart stopped slowly, got closer when you realized it was your husband, covered in blood and his face was messed up. Everything went blank. Your mind was blank. Everything just disappeared when you saw him like this. Then one of the guy facing him put a gun on his forehead. Your husband saw you from the distance and smiled peacefully, telling you not to be worried. Your tears were running down your cheek before you knew it. I love you, he said through his lips, as opposed to his ass. Stomp! You yelled, bang. Okay, what? No. No. Why are we romanticizing? him being murdered like out of everything to romanticize this is what you pick imagine you work as a stripper and today your boss told you you have to do a private show for this man you wore a sexy short dress and put some makeup you walk inside and saw a handsome guy mostly old man would be here it's the first time you see some this attractive you started with pole dancing after dancing for a few minutes you seductively walk towards him and sit on his lap you take the wine from his hand and drink it. You suddenly start to feel dizzy. The last thing you hear before you pass out was, sleep well, darling. That man picks you up and takes you out. After a few hours, you woke up and grabbed your head because of pain. You look around and started to remember everything that happened. You saw that guy from earlier coming towards you. Who are you, you ask, being scared. Your soon-to-be husband who's going to make your life living hell, he said and walked out of the room. No, that's not good. <laughs> and this guy mm, drugged you, kidnapped you, and now he's going to be your husband. So this one's a little bit freaky, but just hear me out on this because this is like my worst nightmare come to life, but people are into this apparently, so. You're in bed sleeping, having a spicy dream about your enemy. And you. You're in the middle of smiling until your phone starts ringing, making you jolt your eyes open widely. You pick up the phone, not looking at the caller ID. Hello? You say, annoyed. It's all quiet until you hang up and get comfortable again. You're about to go back to sleep when the phone rings again. You pick up frustrated. Hello? What do you want? Oh god. <laughs> oh god, your name. Oh god, your name. He speaks in his deep, gentle voice. You look at the caller ID to see it's your enemy. Name me name? Jojo Siwa? Why are you calling me this late? 
you yell. Silence is heard until you hear his whimpers through the phone carried on with his heavy breathing. This is an unconventional act. <gasps> and that's disgusting. Especially because this is my enemy, okay? Like, I think that's nasty. Imagine, you had a stalker that was obsessed with you, but you never really have seen his face. And believe me when I say he was obsessed, he literally was. He would send you expensive stuff, and most importantly, red roses. You were sick of his twisted games, so you decided to go to a bar and dance with someone, because you knew that you would make him go crazy and jealous. Exactly what you want to do with someone who's stalking you. You went to a bar and scanned the room to see if anyone here was suspicious. But no one seemed to be, so you got up and walked up to a man. You started dancing with him, and waited for your stalker to randomly show up and beat the hell out of this man. <laughs> this random guy did nothing. Why? Why are you getting him involved? After a few minutes, you were going to give up, until the lights went off. You felt a shadow passing past you, but then quickly faded away. The lights were back on, and you turned your head to the man you were dancing with. You were shocked. The man was dead, and there was a letter in his neck that said, If another man touches you, I'll deliver his freaking... <clears throat> Next time. Pianis Amor. The letter said, Okay, so this escalated from stalking to now murder. Uh, why? This is just, like, so hot, because, like, I'm kind of being obsessed with you. It's, like, actually really, like, um, cool, and, like, it's whatever your girl wants, like. I don't get it. Imagine. So, what are we gonna do? You, or, wrong, or, facing the most dangerous mafia leader in the world. Have sex, he says, leaning back in his chair. We can't do that. I have a boyfriend, you say, smiling. His face relaxes, and he sits up straight. You're wrong, you're. Acting like he would find out. I cover all my traces. He stands up and walks towards you slowly. He finds out everything. It's too risky. Wrong too. I take risks for a living love, he says, pinning you against the wall. And if he does, I'll murder him so he forgets everything we've done. So not only are you dating, you're putting some innocent guy's life at risk because you want to sleep with a mafia boss. And you're also cheating on this guy. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Such a wholesome... Good... Sorry. Imagine, you were a tattoo artist and your enemy would get tattoos at your shop. One day, he had scheduled an appointment with you for a tattoo he wanted for months. Once he came in, his hair was wet because it's been raining the whole day. You started blushing softly because he was pretty handsome with wet hair. He noticed your blush and said, You like wet hair, huh? You rolled your eyes, and he took a seat while you got ready to tattoo him. Once you finished the tattoo, he gave you money before saying something else. Hey, I was wondering if I could get a another tattoo while I was in here. He said, fine, what do you want? You said, while well, counting the money he gave you. I was wondering if you would give me uh, a tattoo down there. <laughs> he responded while well, glancing down there a few times. What? I'm not just gonna do that, you replied back. Hey, I thought the customer is always right, huh? You said while well, giving, you said, you said while well, giving you a smug look. Hey, I thought the customer is always right, huh? Fine, what do you want, you sighed. I want your name on it. He responded, giving you a smirk. His words made you a bright red that was very noticeable. Fine, take off your pants. Good girl, he replied while taking off his belt. I think I'm gonna just... Close this up now. And, uh... I'm gonna say goodnight now. <laughs> if you're into this, again, absolutely no shame. If this is your jam, jam away. This is not my jam, and this is not a lot of other people's jams. And I have issues with this because it kind of promotes... A lot of the dark romance tropes of abuse, um, power plays, like stalking, murdering, things that I don't really think should be romanticized. Um, and so it just kind of leaves me with like an uncomfortable, why are we even coming up with these scenarios type of thing? But if you're into this, you do you. So yeah, that's where we're gonna cut it off. No hate to the original posters, or the people who come up with this stuff. All love.
of love. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed and hopefully I will see you all here next time.